One of Einstein's profound insights from the general theory of relativity is that time can be warped. And that sounds real sort of sci-fi, strange, mysterious, but actually has a very concrete meaning. Here it is. So Einstein is telling us that if you have two clocks in a gravitational field, then time can tick off at different rates on those clocks dependent upon how deeply they are in the gravitational field. So if you have a clock at the top of the Empire State Building and another right down on the ground, then Einstein says that the clock at the top of the building will take off more quickly than the clock near the surface of the Earth. Now, you might say, if that's true, right, why don't we know about it, right? You've never experienced that. And the reason is Earth's gravity is just too mild for these effects to be visible in everyday life. But if you go out into space and you put clocks near objects with more gravity, then the effects can become obvious. So here's the sun, two identical clocks. As this one gets closer and closer to the sun, feeling the gravity more and more, it will take off time more slowly than this clock. But even for the sun, look, it's very hard to see any difference between these two clocks. But if we shrink the sun down into a black hole, this clock can now get much closer to the source of the gravity, go deeper and deeper into the gravitational field, and look, now you can directly see time is ticking off much slower on that clock compared to this clock. And that's what we mean by warp time. And even near the surface of the Earth, where these effects are tiny, they have been confirmed through observations. Clocks of a specialized sort have been shown that the higher up you are in the gravitational field, the quicker the clock ticks compared to a clock that's deeper in the gravitational field, closer to the surface of the Earth. That's what we mean by time being warped.